tick-borne diseases are on the rise in many hill-walking areas. Stack the odds in your favour by removing a tick properly. Ticks are small arachnids about the size of a poppy seed. They're external parasites that live off the blood of birds and mammals, including you. They are second only to mosquitoes for carrying diseases to humans, which in the UK includes Lyme disease. Global warming and changes in farming practices mean that across Europe there are now more ticks in the countryside. Ticks live in the soil and emerge to climb tall grass, shrubs, bushes and low-level tree branches up to a height of 20 to 70 centimetres in search of a blood host. They attack when you or an animal brush past and look for an area of soft skin to insert their feeding organ and suck blood. They can attach themselves almost anywhere but prefer dark, damp creases like the armpit, groin and back of the knee. You won't feel a thing as the tick injects an anaesthetic to the bite area and once embedded they will steadily engorge as they feed on your blood. They can also leave you with a nasty farewell present. Lyme disease is caused by a bacteria carried by ticks in many popular UK and European walking areas. But being bitten by a tick doesn't mean you will contract Lyme disease. Many believe that an infected tick has to be on you for over 24 hours to transmit the bacteria. However, the risk is out there and the number of infected people increases year after year. From 292 reported cases in 2003 to 797 in 2007. However, it's estimated that around 2,000 cases per year go unreported. The most famous symptom of Lyme disease is a bullseye rash consisting of a red ring-shaped rash which gradually spreads from the site of the tick bite, usually with a fading centre. It's like a brownie red or pink expanding polament. It appears 2 to 40 days after infection and is the only surefire symptom of Lyme disease. So if you develop one, take a photo immediately to show your doctor in case it disappears. Less than 50% of people with Lyme disease get this rash. If Lyme disease is left untreated, a whole range of symptoms can develop, including a flu-like illness, facial palsy, viral type meningitis, arthritic-like joint pains, nerve inflammation, disturbance of sensation or clumsiness of movement, and encephalitis, swelling of the brain. If you suspect you have Lyme disease, then head straight to your GP. A blood test is available, but it does not always detect Lyme disease when it's present. If your GP suspects Lyme, they should begin antibiotic treatment right away without waiting on the results. Another disease carried by some ticks in Europe is tick-borne encephalitis or TBE. A viral disease that attacks the nervous system and can result in serious meningitis, brain inflammation and death. TBE incubation time is 6 to 14 days and at first it can cause increased temperature, headaches, fever, a cough and sniffles. The second phase can lead to neck stiffness, severe headaches, photophobia, delirium and paralysis. There is no specific treatment for TBE. Walkers are particularly at risk from TBE and ticks carrying the disease are found in many new destinations which are growing in popularity. TBE is endemic in the forest and mountainous regions of Central and Eastern Europe. Prevention is better than cure and taking steps to prevent tick bites is better than digging them out of your body. Avoid unnecessary bushwhacking and walk in the middle of paths. Keep your arms and legs covered. Light coloured fabrics are useful since the ticks stand out. Wear gaiters or tuck your trousers into your socks. Check clothes and skin frequently. Ideally do a body check every three to four hours.
They're large enough to be easily spotted in summer, but you need to look carefully in spring as they can be very small. Check that ticks are not brought home on clothes, pets and bouldering mats. Check children carefully, especially along the hairline and scalp. Do a thorough full body check within 24 hours of being on the hill. Use an effective tool and technique to get ticks out. There is a range of special tools you can buy online which are superior to the usual pair of tweezers from a chemist's. This is more likely to make them disgorge their fluids into you. Avoid using smoke or Vaseline or other creams to suffocate the tick. Finally, more information is available on the MCFS and BMC websites.